In this video, we are going to be looking at dependencies in the network editor inside Houdini. So here I have a few nodes in my scene. If I click on View, under Dependency Links, I can select Show for Selected Nodes, but nothing happens. However, when I select a node, I get some extra information appearing in the network editor. If I select off of it, this information disappears. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go back into view and select show for all nodes. And we have some extra information showing here as well. So the first thing that we notice right away are these lines coming out of the AmpShade node. And this indicates that there are dependencies going between each of these nodes. So when these arrows, uh, let's turn off these flags for a moment. So let's hit the D key and where it says show node ring, I'm going to select it from always to only at medium and far zoom. So let's close that. And now if we zoom out, that's when they appear. So let's zoom back in. Now when the triangles are pointing inwards, it means that there are dependencies that this node relies on. Now when you see the triangle pointing away and you right mouse button click over it, you can see the dependencies that are relying on this node. And you can actually jump to it. So if we select Mantra IPR, we are immediately taken to the Mantra IPR rub. Now, if we right mouse button click back onto it, we can jump back to the camera node. So that's a pretty convenient way of jumping back and forth between the dependencies. Let's double click to go inside the big vacuum, and we can see that there are some dependencies listed here, and these guys are all. If we right mouse button over, they are all the shaders that these nodes are relying on and pointing to. And this one, if we right mouse button over it, we can see the geometry that this object merge is pointing at and is dependent on. So if we select that, we are taken straight to the edit 40 node. And this is where the previous node is pulling the information from. So we can jump back and forth between the two. And so this is extremely useful for when you're working within big networks that have hundreds of nodes and you almost have no idea where the things are pointing at. This is a good way to access such information and to find your way around your network of data. So that's dependencies in the network editor inside Houdini.